Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Rox with a little bit of talk about what's at the top of the blog. So let's get to it. Okay, y'all, top of the blogs, boy, I tell you, I, when I tell you, it ain't nothing to talk about but Kim's big ass, it ain't nothing to talk about but Kim's big ass. <laughs> so did you guys see the picture of Kim's big ass in the paper magazine, okay? She posted it on Instagram with the caption, breaking the internet. This was her marketing ploy and attempt of putting everybody on the internet in such a frenzy that the internet gets all clogged up. I mean, if you guys, if Kim Kardashian is nothing else, that girl is great at marketing. If negative or positive, this is just exactly what she does, okay? She markets herself well. Everybody always goes on and on about the fact that she doesn't have any talent. This girl is a genius at marketing. Maybe if she would have went to school, she could have got a marketing degree. <laughs> Why go to school and get a degree when you can show your ass all over the damn internet and just be blown up as she has? okay and speaking of blown up you guys that ass that motherfucker is so damn big i was just like you know i now listen i never when 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 kim kardashian first came out and everybody was going on and on about her ass and everything i always believed that it was her ass okay it was it was jiggly it kind of had some cellulite that was the whole reason why her and paris hilton had fallen out. i remember paris hilton and said that she had cellulite and all of that anyway when you looked at it i mean she looked like she had a big ass but it did definitely look like it was hers now of course after she She's become Kim Kardashian and you know she's now what she is and she had her baby and she's got all this money and they have the best plastic surgeons you know ever her body has taken on um, a whole different quality now still looks good definitely so I mean we, we can't hate on the body um, but it's not hers I don't even know if anybody really cares or most people don't really care but definitely um, yes, the, the ass is something spectacular. I, when I saw the picture, this picture was taken by famed French photog Jean-Paul Goudet, I think, or Goud, G-O-U-D-E. He took this picture. Evidently, Kim Kardashian came up with the whole concept of, you know, just doing the whole full Monty and showing her ass. Um, and they went with it. They also have pictures of her fully, you know, frontal nude, big boobs and coochie. I actually haven't even seen that picture without it being censored already. But I, you know, I got the gist of it. But y'all, this ass. I'm not going to hate on whether, you know, what she decides to do is what she decides to do. Um, you know, to me... It's stunts and shows. But like I just said, that's what Kim Kardashian definitely is. And I think she's just gotten to the point where she embraces it now. I just I just didn't understand why. <laughs> I guess I'm, I'm saying I don't understand why, but I just answered why. This girl loves attention, negative or positive, okay? Whatever the attention that she gets is more money in her pocket. And I think she totally understands that about herself. I mean, I just don't know why she didn't have to do that. You know, the booty, something about when I see a full booty on, you know, when I see it, Normally when you see an ass like on an ad or TV or something like that in a magazine, it's always kind of slanted. It's always kind of one cheek. You know, it's sort of like, you know, you don't get just the whole full ass crack and everything. I saw it down to the cup, y'all. Just the whole thing. I was just like, <laughs> you know, I was just like, what does it smell like it? <laughs> Do it stink in the damn photography room? Like, was it but wide open ass just like ugh, just uh, you know I'm just I guess I mean it's definitely for men I mean you know women can uh, I mean I can appreciate Kim Kardashian's body she has a nice shape um but you know I just I personally am not into seeing a whole full booty crack cup you know <laughs> cheeks all that something about the crack just changed it for me I was like dussy <laughs> my girlfriend the other day and her stupid ass gonna say you see how nice and light it all was you know it wasn't even dark like you know how we got like the, the dark crack and I was just like are you really telling me <laughs> she was like you know I always be feeling like some women that don't have dark cracks and she, I said first to fuck all you can get that bleach stupid ass <laughs> you know you know all the porn stars they get all that bleach down there so they ain't got the old booty rub black in, <laughs> in the middle so she was like how they get it bleached I said yeah you can get all that bleach down 
down there. So she was like, why don't we go get ours? I was like, I am perfectly fine with my black crack ass, okay? I can't, I can't get used to this old booty crack all the way just booty booty. <laughs> Whatever. There's definitely this whole big thing about the ass right now. I mean, we had Nicki Minaj, you know, with her um, anaconda. I guess Kim Kardashian was like, bitch, I'm gonna see you with that ass and I'm gonna double that motherfucker. <laughs> Maybe y'all, I gotta, let me stop. <laughs> stop with this ass but yeah y'all it is just really something I, I i i i you know i don't have a, an opinion about it one way or the other would i do something like that absolutely not but i mean you know people people i don't think we are all that shocked that it's kim kardashian and that she's done something like that yeah do people are saying oh beyonce wouldn't do that yeah well beyonce is beyonce and kim kardashian is kim kardashian two totally different people nothing that you can compare Okay, and whatever. I'm just, hey, I'm not hating. Do whatever you got to do. I just, the see. That's, that's all I mean. What did you guys think about the picture? I know a lot of you guys hate Kim Kardashian. So I'm sure that you guys will have a lot to say about it in the comments. Um, And people did have a lot to say. Naya Rivera, for one, who was just like so ironic that she would say something, to, you know, considering the fact that she's tried to become Kim Kardashian. I mean, con totally like took over the same look as Kim Kardashian to the point where it was starting to look like it was a little stalkerish and a little bit crazy well of course Naya Rivera weighs in and she says something like you know I don't normally say anything but you're somebody's mother okay well people's mamas pose nude and you know make sex tapes and all of that just like everybody else so yeah you guys I don't know the Kardashians just y'all they just do the most all the time so just every time they do something I I it, I don't even know if I'm all that shocked anymore. Just like King, uh, Chloe putting up that meme that said um, the the only KKKs that had black men inside them or something like that. And it was a picture of her, Courtney, and Kim. And um, I actually got a little giggle about it because it's true. Um, but, you know, people get so upset at just hearing the word KKK or hearing the letters KKK, you know, people get upset and, you know, folks don't have too much of a sense of humor when it comes to the KKK and black men, you know, the Kardashians, the fact that everybody is so pissed that they're able to get black men and steal black men, all of that, you know, people were upset about it. Yeah, it was, it was kind of in bad taste, but the shit was kind of funny. It was true, which is what Chloe said, but, it, you know. People got all mad at her to the fact where she had to finally take the damn meme down. But, yeah, I, I just, I mean, the Kardashians are just, that's just what they are and who they are. These people are definitely know how to play up on any negativity in their life and make money off of it. And, you know, you can't be mad at that. But, um, yeah, you guys weigh in on all that that I just said, okay? Oh! One more question I wanted to ask while we talking about this. Why is it that Rihanna was in trouble for posing, you know, posting nude pictures of her from a, a magazine spread that she did? And uh, I still don't know if Rihanna canceled her Instagram or if Instagram put her on some sort of probation. I think that it happened both ways. They originally did just kind of shut her down for a little while. was going to allow her to come back. And then she was just like, fuck y'all, I ain't coming back. Um, and now she just recently came back, but she was off for some months. I'm wondering why is it that Kim Kardashian can put her full big ass on the uh, Instagram and nothing happened to her. I mean, even when we get these, these, um, leaks, like the iCloud leaks and when the women, when they were le leaking all the pictures of all the celebrities and news, I mean, you could see it on Instagram for a hot minute and then Instagram would take them all off. So... Why is it that Kim Kardashian's picture was able to stay? It was still there. Now, they didn't, of course, put the, the front picture. The frontal picture of her is not up. But definitely her ass. And, honey, that ass is just so colossal. <laughs> Monumental. <laughs> anyway, y'all, just that was just one question that I had. Because I was just like, oh, it's a little ironic. I'm not one to pull a race card or nothing. I still don't think it's a race card. But, you know, it's something to say about popularity and what they are willing to accept. I'm not saying that Kim is necessarily more popular than Rihanna. But I am saying that, you know, what Kim does, evidently Rihanna can't do. I don't know, y'all. <laughs> anyway, y'all weigh in below on that. That ass was just some big, wasn't it? <laughs>
Now, you guys, speaking of asses, big asses or whatnot, we got to talk about Nicki Minaj's video. I don't even know the name of the damn song. Y'all didn't write it down. But, you know, folks was upset because they said that it had Nazi symbolism and sentiments in the video. Evidently, it's a song, I think, with Nicki Minaj, Chris Brown. Y'all don't give me the lying. I don't even know what the song is, but people were upset about the video. Okay, so Nicki Minaj came out and said, um, you know, that it wasn't any intention to bring on Nazi symbolism that, you know, she came up with some other shit that she said that the video came from. But then the director, Mr. Jeff Osborne, came out, not um, Jeffrey Osborne, not, um, is that, is it Jeffrey Osborne that's the singer? And the woo, 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 and the woo, woo, woo. Is that Jeffrey I don't think it's Jeffrey Osborne, but not that Jeffrey Osborne. Jeff Osborne is the director, and he says that definitely so is Nazi symbolism in the video, and that he did it all on purpose. But then he goes on to talk about all the other symbolisms, talking about, you know, gun problems. He's talking, got some shit about Russia up in there. Y'all know I'm not political, so I don't know. He's talking about some tanks, some military tanks, some Israeli and something, and you know, so he got a whole bunch of other shit going on in the video, and he said it was all on purpose, okay? He says that the youth today needs to be reminded of shit that has happened in the past um our historical mistakes so that they don't do them again and the best way to reach them is through social media and pop culture so this was his this was his his way of reaching the young masses and letting them know that all that in the video is just so that you don't do it again now you know i, I can't get too deep on it <laughs> You know, I, whatever way he want to say it, I guess so is his video, him and um, Nicki Minaj. But yeah, I guess them two probably should, um, you know, talk about these things beforehand. Now, everybody's going on and on about Nicki Minaj and how she's just been so controversial lately. And uh, every time her something of hers comes up, is wrapped in all types of controversy. Um, and I, I'm sure that's on purpose. Nicki Minaj also is one who whose career is part uh, talent and the rest a whole bunch of you know controversy and shit so this is just fits right in with her persona and what she's got going on right now did you guys even see the video have you heard the song what's the song y'all y'all leave it down in the comments below because I, <laughs> I couldn't be bothered Ariana Grande and Jesse J are redoing The Boy Is Mine, okay? The song, I guess, is 20 years old now, which is amazing. Evidently, the song that Brandy and Monica did 20 years ago is now being commemorated with um, um, a, a redo, okay? Jesse J and Ariana Grande. Now, people are upset about it. I don't know why. What the fuck is everybody always so upset about shit for, okay? I mean, what is the is it that big a deal now i'm not no big fan of remakes i've told you guys that plenty of times i think songs that are hits and when people remake it it's sort of like you cheating okay you already know that it was a hit once so now you're gonna take do it again and you know hopefully it'll come out well the good thing about it is both jesse J and ariana grande are talented singers okay so i don't see them fucking it up unless it is just you know unless the production of the music is weird if they change the arrangements or something but i don't see how it can be that bad okay it wasn't like there was a song like to this day when i hear it i'll be like oh my jam i can fuck about no damn the boy is mine brandy and monica is like really i mean is that even in anybody's playlist like today like if i hear it i'll be like oh yeah it's a love this song but it's nothing that i you know, it's nothing that I feel like I want to hear. And every time I hear it, I just be like, oh, yeah, this used to be the jam. And yeah, nothing like that. So, you know, but folks is upset. I guess people feel the same as me and that a song shouldn't be touched. But I mean, you know what is here. So there ain't really nothing you can do about it. I mean, the best that can come out of it is that it's a hit. And the worst that can come out of it is everybody will compare it to the first. And it'll be a sucky, terrible rendition. And, you know, they won't do that shit again. But <laughs> were you guys upset about it? I mean, who really cares? Uh, Usher and Tamika, honey, they say they had them a sex tape when they was married back in the day. And evidently, it was on Usher's something. And whatever it was, it got stolen. Okay, so this person's, whoever stole it originally, 
They tried to get the shit put out back in the day. It didn't happen. I guess they didn't held on to it until to na- till now. And now they decided that they want to try to shop it around again to get it put out there. Now, this is a little different than the old Mimi and um 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 Nico situation. I don't even remember his name. This is a little different than Mimi and Nico in the, in the fact that it is stolen. Okay, it's stolen property. Um, no company wants to take it because they know that Tamika and Usher are not going to sign off on it. As a matter of fact, Usher is got his his big lawyers all over it so that this shit never even makes the light of day. Okay, so we ain't going to see it. But was you guys really, really clamoring <laughs> to see uh, Usher and Tamika in the bed, you know, making nasty with each other? I just, yeah, that's not, that wasn't one that I was like, oh, I want to see. And now they're saying that the video is definitely kinky. They say they do quite a bit. Um, and... But, you know, all that is hearsay because, like I said, that shit ain't never coming out. But what y'all think? Would you guys like to see a video of Usher and Tamika having sex? So, just a few little touches on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay, we we know about the dramatics that's going on between Phaedra and Apollo. Now it's hit the blogs that Mr. Apollo is harassing Phaedra from jail. They say that he's calling, collect. Um, They say that he's writing letters to her. Um, They say that in these letters, he calls her a fat bitch. He says that she is conceited. And he says that she is not a loyal wife. As a matter of fact, his feelings are, if it wasn't for the damn kids, he wouldn't even want to see her ass no more. (laughs) I was just like, you might not see her or them damn kids anymore anyway. (laughs) Okay, they say he's threatening her and all of this from um, from the jailhouse now. I don't know how that's really harass. I mean, I guess that is still harassment. But to me, like, if a letter comes, you just don't don't read it. You throw the shit away. That's what they say she's doing. She's tearing them up and throwing them away. She's not even reading them anymore. Um, she's not accepting his collect calls. I mean, it just all sort of feels like it's a smear, you know, smeared campaign to, to make Apollo look even worse. Uh, just to go along with the TV show and all of that. You know, you can't never really believe what's going on. I mean, it's, 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 it's obviously clear that they are going through a divorce. They're going through it right now and they probably have some bad blood there um but you know i guess child also um kenya kenya moore is calling out nini for not you know matching her donation okay nini is telling her that honey the statue didn't ran out i told you about giving that money at you know at the beginning of the summertime and now you want to wait all this time to get the money no nah, baby i ain't doing it no more <laughs> so nini then retracted her damn challenge and uh, Kenya's saying, you know, be the rich bitch that you are and go on and put the money where your mouth is. So, as of now, Nene said, fuck that. I ain't do it. <laughs> oh, this is S. She's texting me. Y'all know S Simply Done? I think that's what it's still called, her her YouTube cha- uh, channel. She's she's texting me right now, y'all. We gossiping. Hey, S girl. Um. Anyway, let me get on back to my... Let me get on back to the video. <clears throat> As expected, Keisha Cole is being sued by Sabrina Mercadale. And Miss Mercadale is the lady who was attacked by Keisha when she went to Birdman's West Los Angeles home in the middle of the night and found Miss Mercadale there. Miss Mercadale has let us know that there is nothing going on with her and Birdman and that they have a strictly plutonic relationship. <laughs> it's out of this world, y'all. <laughs> so, because of that, Miss <laughs> Mercadale is, uh, uh, I can't even get my thoughts together. Miss Mercadale is suing Keisha Cole for $1 million, okay? We are going to have a dinner sale for Miss Keisha Cole on Sunday. <laughs> for every Sunday in the year of 2015, we're going to have chicken dinners $5.50, fish dinners $6.50, rib dinners $7.50, and combination plates $9.00. <laughs> Speaking of expectations, Natalie Nunn is pregnant. I didn't even know who Natalie Nunn was until I Googled her. And then I was like, oh, yeah, that's the girl off of Bad Girls Club. I don't watch that show. So whoever she is, congratulations to her and her 
baby daddy slash husband, whoever he might be. Fantasia is engaged to her big daddy, okay? She shared a picture of her engagement ring that this man, uh, Mr., uh, well, I don't know his name, big daddy gave her, okay? Let's all stretch out the hands of prayer. Lord, please touch this union and make it be right and don't let no woman come out the woodwork saying that that's her husband and sue Spanny for all she got. <laughs> and lastly, congratulations are in order for Solange Knowles as she is marrying her longtime boyfriend, 51-year-old Alan Ferguson, I believe his name is. I didn't write it down. Going strictly off the dome here, y'all. They will be getting married this weekend in their home in New Orleans. So congratulations. Let's hope that this one sticks. All right, you guys, so that's that foolishness. This whole top of the block was just wasn't about shit. But anyway, y'all, we got to do what we got to do. Why? Because it is non-stop November. We doing it, y'all. Oh, yes, we are. We do this every single week, so make sure that you rate, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you come back. Until next time, rock stars. Bye.